My goal in this tutorial is to show you quickly how to update your calendar for your listings. So the first thing you'll need to do is log into your dashboard. Once you're at your dashboard, our navigation menu is on the left hand side up here in, in brown. You want to go to the fourth one down for listings and expand that down by clicking on it and then click on the sub menu for manage listings. This will take you to all your listings that are associated with your account. If you just have one, you'll only see one. If you have multiple, you'll see all of them listed here. For whichever up for whichever listing you wish to update, click on the pencil icon to the far right here for that listing. Once you click on that icon, you'll be brought into our listing editor. Once there, you will see that there are different tabs so that you can manage the different sections of your listing in our system. So in this case, we want to edit the calendar. So we're going to click on the calendar tab. When you click here, you will see a current view of what your calendar looks like to those that will visit your listing. All those dates knocked out in red will be the ones that are booked. You'll notice down here is a color key to tell you what the different colors stand for. Now, to block out an additional week, in this example, we're going to block out Memorial Day week from May 27th until June 3rd. So it's currently showing available in my calendar. Now to do so, you need to put in an arrival date and a departure date. In this case, it'll be May 27th until June 3rd. You can type that information in here, but if you're like me, I'd rather just use the mouse. So I come down here and I click on May 27th, and that puts it into my arrival date. And my departure date, I'd now click on June 3rd, and it automatically puts it in there. Now I have to say, is this a booked reservation? reservation which will make it red or is it a pending reservation which will make it orange okay so if it's booked which it is I now click on update availability and you'll notice those dates in the calendar are now blocked out in red and they will show in our listing as unavailable you'll also notice that it added it to the list of our bookings that we have underneath the calendar here now if I made a mistake and I need to delete this this block out of our calendar I can just click on this delete icon and it'll remove it and those dates will be shown available again if I need to change the date let's say by accident I put in the third of uh, June and really the people are checking out on Friday I could come up here and I can make a change to the date but in this case it is correct so I'm just gonna save it and leave it as is okay so that's how you update your calendar which just by blocking dates out and if that's all you need to do that's that's you're done. But if you want to record additional information for this booking, let's say you want to put in the person's name, uh, email, and phone number, you now need to go back to the menu system over here and go to manage bookings, the second one down. When you go to manage bookings, you'll see all the bookings for your property. If somebody actually sent in a booking request from our website, this page will automatically be filled out with what the guests put in when they sent in that booking request. However, if this is a booking that you're transferring from another website or from your own listing website if you have one you'll need to manually key in that customers information so you'll see that last booking is right here May 27th to June 3rd and here's that pencil icon again to edit when you edit it you're able to now go into that reservation and you're able to put in the number of guests the number of, of kids if you want um, you can put in the price that you charged them if you added any add-ons or if you had a booking fee or anything else that you wanted to charge you could the three asterisk fields here are things that we suggest you put in. Obviously, the person's name, their phone mail and email, phone number and email. And then you can put in like their mailing address if you need to and any message or notes about that person. Once you're done, you can save and go back to list and it'll save any changes you made. And you can see it's telling me I need to put in um, a name, a phone number and an email that those fields are required. A quick way to get out of that is just hit list bookings and you'll go back and you don't have to put that information in. So if you're managing your reservations from another uh, website, if you have your own booking website or you just do it in your own spreadsheet at home, you don't have to put that information in. But we do give you that ability to do that if you wish to. So I hope that um, shows you real quickly how to update your calendar and then go that next step and add the customer's information under manage booking if you wish to use that feature.